I've decided to try out for America's Got Talent. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use this footage. Um, I don't know if I want to or if I'll even be allowed to, but I've decided to try out for America's Got Talent. Before now, I haven't really given much consideration or thought into doing one of these competition shows, but the more that I've played and developed my one woman band show, I feel like what I do now is more suited for a competition show. So I've created this setup where I basically run around and play a bunch of different instruments. And I think it's gonna be really fun. It's moments like these that make me wish that maybe I had pursued the mandolin. You're standing in front of a megaphone. Is that an instrument? This is the most important instrument of them all. Uh... It sounds like a theremin. What do you think of Venice so far? <sighs> Confusing. And one of the best parts, no one can tell me that I can't play this sexy beast on stage. It looks like it's got a head on it because the Les Paul's behind it. Oh! Now, now it doesn't have a head on it anymore. There's, How do you tune it? There's something... Where are the I ain't no country bass. And you got some paint on there. This ain't no FSO for y'alls. <laughs> What'd you get? Um, an iced honey vanilla latte. What'd you get me? Hot chocolate. You child. The first day. Uh, we landed and there's so many people staying at this hotel that you know we were waiting for a room and stuff and I had to go and get ready in the gym bathroom because they were like oh we want to uh, start interviews and stuff today what's in the bag soldier I've got a lovely Les Paul and a five string Ibanez with its head chopped off and I'm so glad uh, my dad and I got to spectate the Monday um, evening show and people line up I'm telling you down the whole street um, up the stairs and there's just a huge glob of people they told us that we can be as rowdy and as crazy and loud as we want which, as an audience member. as an audience member right, yes. yes and I love that and I'm really glad that I got to see it from that perspective because it definitely eased some of the tension and nerves that I had for performing it's way more intimidating watching it on TV and uh, picturing yourself on the stage than when you're actually there, um, which was a weird sensation. I've never really experienced that uh, sort of dynamic. You're just mad because I'm me fun and you dim sum. So then the next day was the performance day. Frank Sinatra. Anything broken? We'll figure that out later. Your daddy thinks I'm a loser. I had to push there. The call time was 7 a.m. and I didn't go on stage until about 6.30 p.m. And so that day was long, but because I'm a minor, they let me come home in between. I got to take a nap. It was heavenly. How did sound check go? Really good. Right on. Mm-hmm. Well, this doesn't sound great. I could feel the kick through my bones, you know? I woke up, I was ready, I was feeling good. During the performance, I got to meet Terry, the man, the myth, the legend. And we did this short little interview backstage. Basically, he just asked me what I'm doing, you know, what's my name, whatever, whatever. And I told him that he had good dance moves. <laughs> he appreciated that. The amount of crew people that they have working, we were talking about this, it's just insane. They marked everything perfectly as to where um, all of my instruments and the drum riser and everything needed to be placed 
Yes, they put my drums on a freaking riser, and my act is so fast, and I'm like running around playing different instruments that having a riser in there, that's like three extra steps and a whole new uh, level that I'm jumping up to. I just made it, so it was fine. It was just like, geez, if only we could make this a little bit harder. And Fergie! Hit a burger. I looked at my turn around, brothers got around. I was looking at my up and down, looking at my... Okay. There was also this one stick trick that I do at pretty much at the end of the song where I was not sure if I was going to catch it or not. A little practice time. And that's why. Back here. Howie's reaction was priceless. The whole thing was amazing and the crowd's response was just amazing. It was it was a great, really, really positive experience overall. And it's it's just so cool and the variety is insane and really um, had just brought this whole new appreciation for what this show is and what it does for um, acts that are just trying to get out there. I'm happy it happened. I'm really happy with how it went. And I'm also happy to go home, which is today. So. Seated with your seatbelt securely fastened, about you to the bar.